Welcome back to another episode of our series on remote learning. I'm laughing because I keep on having to start and stop this video. And i got to remember not to move my mouse above my face because it's really annoying when you watch. Uh, anyway, uh, just trying to personalize this a little bit. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you what you need to get started with remote teaching. And the most important uh, tool that I'm using here is Google Classroom. Uh, but the second most important tool, I think, is this Faststone Capture program. And I'm using Alt-Tab to go through here. Uh, Faststone is a screen capture program. It's free for the first 30 days. Uh, after that, it's 20 bucks. Um, hopefully your school system will pay for it. There are lots of other screen capture programs. Um, I like Faststone because it's really simple to use. Um, you learn like three different buttons that you need to press and you're done. It's also, I guess the thing I don't like about Faststone is that you need to do your video in one take. Now I can pause this video like I'm going to do right now in order to get my thoughts together. Uh, and continue recording. But if I make a mistake, I can't go backwards and fix it. So uh, it's a, it's a one-take environment. Um, on that basis, it's really good. And you kind of just got to get used to making small mistakes and, and not worrying about it. Um, so you need fast on capture. You need, you've got to have a webcam. Uh, you know, we, we spoke in, in the previous video about uh, trying to make that connection with students, that human connection is, is so important in learning. Um, they're going to be looking for your comments uh, when you, and I touched my face, you're not supposed to touch your face. Um, they're going to be looking for those comments that you make on their papers and so you're trying to develop this remote relationship. You need to do things like tell them that, that you miss seeing them in school and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I miss you. I wish we were together right now, but we're not, so let's do it this way. Anyway, the other thing you need, I'm doing Alt-Tab allows me to jump from screen to screen. Hold down Alternate and press the Tab key. Um, inexpensive web camera. Here's a $5 camera on, on eBay. It'll, it'll be just fine. $20 uh, camera on eBay. It'll be just fine. Um, you do not need to spend $34. You definitely don't need to spend $63. Um, absolutely not. Just a very simple equipment just to get things going. Um, and so um, th that's really all you need to get started uh, as a teacher in Google Classroom and, and making these videos and stuff. Um, on the student side of things, I hate that when that happens. It, oh, it stopped. I've got to minimize it and maximize it again. And so anyway, I'm not going to re-record this video <laughs> for that. Um, on the student side of things, all a student needs is a laptop uh, with, a, with a browser, and they need to have uh, access to the internet, um, hopefully through Wi-Fi. So uh, a Chromebook will work. Um, any sort of laptop will work, and almost any desktop will work. Windows 7 or better. Um, the programs I'm using, so first and foremost, this program um, that I'm using right now to talk to you and where you can see my face is just the camera app built into Windows 10. There's one built into Windows 7. Um, it's free. It's built into the operating system. So you don't need to buy anything for that. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to use a lot is the snipping tool. Um, the snipping tool allows me to cut out pieces of the screen. Um, so it's very useful uh, for taking uh, your old assignments. See, now I'm in the snipping tool. It's very useful for cutting your old assignments into bits to make uh, new computer-based learning uh, assignments with them. It also allows you to create, uh, convert all those uh, old paper uh, all those old paper worksheets uh, over to digital manipulatives. Digital manipulatives are uh, are anything that you're manipulating on the computer. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. Uh, so um, I hope you've learned it all. Every, everything you need um, to do remote teaching and learning. And there will be links down below uh, that send you to the pages where you will find more information on everything I talked about. Cheers.